guys please like i know i know i just got in the car and i'm catching feelings baby I'm going to Chipotle and I'm about to go to the gas, sadly. But guys, so much has happened. I got a new tripod so now I can like hold my camera right. Like when I happen to have that big tripod, I have like a the miniature ones now. So now I feel like a real um, YouTuber. But guys, so much has happened to me this week. We're gonna be driving and talking. So I'm gonna tell you guys everything while I drive to Chipotle. Yeah, so let's get into this video. Let's begin this journey real quick. I'm gonna fix the camera in a second. Let me drive out of here first. Dang, that lady was quick to park in my mom parking spot. Like, I don't know. Anyways, y'all. So let me just start by saying this. Whatever you want to happen in life, pray about it and it's gonna it's gonna happen for you. That's what I'm gonna start by saying, and then I'm gonna tell y'all the story real quick. If you follow me on TikTok, you already know, honey. You guys already know. But if you don't follow me on TikTok, I'm about to tell y'all the story real quick. So as you guys know, oh my God, the tripod actually can't go up. So my head is just going to have to be cut off for now. But as some of you guys may know, my last YouTube video I posted was about me going viral and fulfilling all of these orders, right? So y'all, tell me why. Like... I wish, okay, tell me why two days later after that video was posted, I go viral again. But y'all, my last video was viral, but this this is a different type of viral, y'all. I woke up to 8 million views, 400,000 followers, and y'all, like, it literally shocked me because, like, I would have, I never, like, okay, I've been praying to go viral, yes, but it's like, I didn't think it would come right then and there, like, the way I went viral, I kind of wish I went viral another way because I feel like a lot of people do, like a lot of people are angry at me, which people that are angry never shop with my brand, never supported me. So I don't really care too much about that. But what happened was, if you follow me on TikTok, you already know I do giveaways on my page all the time. Like you can scroll through my page, you'll see me. I always do a giveaway. So basically the video I posted was a giveaway. It went viral, 8 million views. It has over a million comments and people are mad because they feel like they should have won but realistically i cannot give away a million lip glosses like that is not gonna happen it's never going to happen and if you think about it whenever people do giveaways they they have three rules must be following me share this post tag three friends if everybody does that everybody doesn't win still they're still gonna pick two or three winners like or one or two winners they're still gonna pick whoever they want they're not gonna pick everybody that follows the rules obviously so i feel like people were mad because they felt like they follow the rules and they didn't win but it's like everybody's gonna follow the rules obviously but i'm still gonna pick one or two people i'm not gonna pick everyone like this it's not possible for everyone to win the giveaway and i know i know y'all have entered giveaways before y'all follow the rules you still didn't win that doesn't mean that the person lied it just means they picked their winner so the giveaway i always do giveaways i've never gone viral with a giveaway so of course the giveaway was supposed to have one winner but when i had over a million comments i was like oh my god i can't just pick one person there's so many so i ended up picking two people but everybody's mad because they feel like I should pick more people. But it's like, you guys cannot bully me into giving you free glasses. You, like, when I tell you guys, I was literally crying. I was so upset because, like, I was getting so much hate comments. And I'm like, why are you guys so angry you didn't win? Like, I never experienced hate before. So, like, and I've never been famous. Or how, people keep telling me I'm famous now, but I'm not famous. 400K is a lot. But I still see myself as a small business. Like, it's, like, still regular to me. But it's like people were throwing sending me hate comments hateful comments a lot of people have been unfollowing me like i've already lost 5,000 followers since then but it's like i don't care the people unfollow me that aren't going to support me anyway like i'd rather have two followers than fake people that follow me to win something if you get what i'm saying like the giveaway was done for the people that were following me i had 69k and i woke up to 400k so it's like i already expect people to unfollow me because that's natural if you don't win i'm okay but i answer giveaways i don't and even if i don't win i don't unfollow the person but hey everybody's different but yeah it's just like i've been getting so much hate and stuff but i'm not focused on it i'm planning my restock the restock is supposed to be august 7th i have so much inventory coming i had to like 
double my inventory this time because I had even when I went viral of course there are people that wanted to shop but you guys know my website was already sold out from the from my restock like my website has been sold out so it's like a lot of people were also mad like why is everything sold out and it's like honey I was sold out before I went viral like people make it seem like I went viral and sold out no my supporters been supporting me and I was already sold out before I went viral so don't do me sis I've been had supportive customers so there's that too so yeah this person tag says February 26, 2020, honey. It is August 1st, 2021. Why is your tag a, like over a year expired? That is crazy. But yeah, I'm about to get my Chipotle so I can feel a little better. And we're going to start preparing for this restock. I'm going to pack a few orders in this video. And that's going to be the end of this video. And then the next video that's going to come out is going to be the prepare for the restock. I'm so sorry I didn't post anything all of last week, guys. Going viral. It's not what you think it is. Like people make it seem like it's gonna be the best day of your life, y'all. This caused me stress, pain. Like it was painful because I thought everybody would be happy, you know, to enter the giveaway and be happy for who won. But everybody was angry, and that's why I didn't tag the two girls that won because I did not want them to get hate. Like I was already getting hate for picking two people, and I could not imagine the amount of people that would be hating on them for winning. So I announced the winners on Instagram. And I blurred out their ads, like I tagged, I tagged their reaction, like I DM'd them, let them know they won, and I screenshot that I posted. I didn't put their ads. That's why like more people were mad, but it's like I'm not about to tell y'all, like, give you all the information for y'all to attack them. Even though on TikTok I did say their ad names, but it's like I was not going to tag them because I could already see the amount of hate I was getting. So I didn't even want them to get a hate or anything like that. So yeah. It's a love-hate situation right now because I don't like how people are treating me right now. But at the end of the day, I'm still going to promote my brand and do what I was doing before I went viral because I still feel like I'm the same girl with 69K. I don't really feel like I'm a giant brand now. My brand still feels the same to me. So I'm still going to act the same way like how I was before. So yeah, but we're about to get this Chipotle. Yeah, I'm going to see you guys when I get back home. I start parking, packing orders and stuff. So, oh my god, the camera is like all sideways and stuff because I've been driving. But I'm sorry, guys. Okay, we've got our Chipotle, and and now we can go home and eat, and then pack orders, and that'll be it for today. I'm so sorry I didn't post all last week, y'all. When I tell you I had a headache every day after it went viral, like. It was painful, but you live and you learn. <laughs> hey vlog, so I'm back. Yes, I know it's the next day, but so much happened yesterday. Well, I already knew what was happening yesterday. I went to a wedding, I performed in a wedding, yada, yada, yada. So that's why I didn't continue the vlog yesterday. I don't even know why I started the vlog yesterday when I knew I wasn't gonna be able to finish it, but that's besides the point. So now we're gonna pack these orders. I am a bit frustrated because my inventory was supposed to come in today and it isn't it's still in transit so i'm hoping everything comes quickly because this is the first time that i've had this many lip gloss tubes to make so it's like i was giving myself five days to do it but now it's like cut to four days and i'm scared because the restock will be on saturday and like what if it comes on friday and i have to stay up the whole entire day making all the lip glosses for them to be ready on saturday like so wish me luck but yeah let's start doing these orders I don't know it's already four o'clock so i'm definitely not going to the post office today. i'm gonna go to the post office tomorrow but that won't be in this video because i need to upload this today so let's get to work here we are purchasing the shipping labels and we have nine orders to do today because my website is sold out like there's literally nothing left to buy so this is how i print them y'all i go from here my oh my god excuse the mess y'all it's it's been rough my shopify store is connected to my shippo so that's how all the orders come and then the tracking numbers, everything's there. So I'm going to cover this so y'all don't see people's addresses. Okay, now let's begin. So this first order, this person ordered our fantasy palette. They also ordered the Falling in Love palette. And a pink brush set. So those three things. And then we're going to put it in this mailer y'all i just wanted plain silver but i did, i couldn't find any so i'm kind of mad at their metallic but 
we're just gonna have to work for now. And I, I didn't buy that many of it, so once they're gone, I'll find the color I actually want. So the two palettes, they already have their bubble wrap sleeve on, and the inside of the mailer also has bubble wrap, so. Then the brush set. All right, everything fit. Then we're gonna get a business card. Just drop that in there. Put some confetti on top. Put the packing slip. Make sure it's the right name. Cause I'll be bad if you ship someone else's order to someone. I'll be careful. And that's how it looks on top. These nails are thick. Like I got these on Amazon. So I just wanted to <coughs> excuse me. I just wanted to try out new colors. So I'm still trying to decide how the coloring I want for my packaging. Like I know I want pink like this. But I, I wanted pink and silver. So like it'll just look prettier together. And then they were silver on Amazon, but then they came out to be like this holographic metallic kind of color. I mean they're still cute, but I just wanted plain silver, but it'll have to do for now. So the next order is this young lady ordered a cupcake sponge. And since the packaging for the cupcake sponge are plastic, I'm scared if I put it in a bubble mailer, like something will squish it and it'll come deformed. So anytime someone orders them, I've been putting them in our custom boxes. Since I need to get rid of the boxes anyways, because this logo is so old. Like this is our logo in the beginning of 2020, I believe. Yeah, so it's an old logo. Put that. Here's the beautiful sponge. I know it looks crazy because there's only one thing inside, but that's just what it's gonna have to be. Give some confetti. Business card. And that's it. I put the packing slip and I'm gonna do a speed through of the rest so y'all don't have to listen to me talk anymore. <laughs> smallest bunch of orders I've ever done well not ever this has been me back to when I first opened my business in my my college dorm freshman year this is the orders I used to have like probably like three orders to be honest but it's crazy to see how much your business can grow but yeah thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and tell me what you want to see on my channel I'll definitely bring it to you guys 
the restock is august 7th this saturday 1 p.m central standard time you can subscribe to our emailing list you can subscribe to our text messaging list whichever form of notification you like best or you can follow us on instagram or tiktok any of the above works but yeah love you guys peace